Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 5, and we're continuing our playthrough of... Not illusion a guy, I gotta update my note. <laughs> of Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Quickening. Uh, no. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We've uh, found our way through the Med Bay. Down by the bay. Why does it keep flashing the inventory? Thank you, I know I got a torch, and it's even equipped. We gotta find clothes. Uh, there's something else I was looking There we go. There's our map. Okay, so that's gonna remind us that there's our medical lab station. There's the medical bay where we can heal up if we need to. And we just finished up with the morgue, so let's uh let's see what's through. Any door that can be bashed open can be cut through more easily with a lightsaber or construction tool, such as the plasma torch that you looted from a body. To bash open this door, equip a plasma torch on the equip screen, and then switch bash. Alright. Just out of curiosity. Emergency lockdown nope. is in effect. Turbolifts have been sealed to contain. Okay. Leaks. Impossible, you say. Ha! <laughs> Experience points. 100 XP for stabbing the door with the torch. Alright. Easy money. Alright, quick survey. Let's uh, loot this room and then figure out what we got. I mean, let's recover any items. So we get a vibro cutter. Normally a mining tool. It doubles as an effective melee weapon. Melee weapons give an attacker a large bonus, yada yada yada. Okay. So here. It's a balanced weapon. Okay. So plus two if used in the offhand. Okay. Is that also balanced? No, that's not balanced. Well, since we took two weapon fu Oh. I thought I could put that in the offhand. Alright, so what if I do this? Nope. Okay. I guess they're trying to get you uh, set up for those two weapons configs and switch between one and two. Alright, there we go. So that button down by her portrait there will let us switch between the two weapons modes. Um, I almost forgot. Why are you flashing that thing? Okay. So that is 1 to 10 damage. Interesting. It seems to suggest that we get to use it on the offhand. Alright, 1 to 10 damage, 19 to 20, crit. And this only does 1 to 1 damage, but an extra 1 to 6 fire. So you're actually looking at 2 to 7 damage. As much as I like having the uh, extra potential damage, the floor is a little bit higher. So I, I think uh, I think I might actually keep the torch out for now because it doesn't have the highest potential damage, but it's got a lower, it's got a higher floor. Droid optimized interface. All right, I don't have a droid yet, but when I do. That's it? Uh, those are all the corpses? I mean, there's one there, but we can't loot it. Alright, so we got our emergency blast door over here. And we got our door over here. Let's do the emergency blast door first. Emergency lockdown is oh. in effect. Turbo lifts have been sealed to contain the explosion. And cannot be opened with a torch. Oh, lovely. Okay. Well, then I guess that uh, keeps our options fairly simple. Oh. No, let's do the flurry. Okay. Let's queue up a couple more flurries and go at it. Alright, let's do the same thing. Let's bump up a few flurries. Oh, come on, man. 
There we go. Search those remains. Ooh, a mining laser. Okay. Why do we still have the combat music? Nothing in that body? Nope. Nothing in that body? Nope. Um, one of the things that they changed, and why I'm being extra particular, is in Knights of the Old Republic 2, they randomized some of the loot chests. And, and they randomized what's in the corpses. So if you're playing along with Season 1 in Knights of the Old Republic 1, uh, whatever you saw me get out of a particular box or loot off of a particular body, you're always going to be able to loot that every time you play through. So you can guarantee it, plan on it, and work with that. In this one, not so much. So, uh, that does remind me. Can I... I can't equip that in the offhand. Okay. So... Mining laser is 1 to 7. Not upgradable. Alright, what about on a... Oh, well, an incompatible weapon is in your other hand. Okay, I got you. That's why. I don't plan on actually doing any shooting, so I'm not going to bother wasting one of my equipment slots on that. I love that dramatic draw. That's beautiful. Alright. Let's, uh... Take care of you. And then take care of you. Bam! Awesome. Can, no? Seriously? Nothing? Nobody's got any loot? Now oh, come on, I thought you were supposed to be equipping me for stuff. Alright, fine. Why are you flashing? Oh, because I got that. And the mining laser. Okay. I love that it flashes to let you know that you got new stuff, but I hate that it flashes when I know what's there. Alright, what's in our broken droid over here? Another repulsor... okay. Parts. That's what I saw. Parts. So we got an emergency hatch and our door. Let's, uh... There's nothing left in that body. Let's, uh... Let's try our emergency hatch. This is the exit. But it is sealed. Strange. In my visions, it was open. Oh. There's only silence. Alright, try to find some way to open the hatch. It's odd that this emergency hatch hasn't opened, considering the circumstances. There may be a way to open it if you could get it to an access terminal. In other words, I'm sorry. Your answer is in another castle. Oh, look at that! A security desk! Right when we needed a terminal. Before that. Alright, so we got a security tunneler, which could come in handy. Chemicals, components. Ooh, ion grenades. Yes, please. Is that all that's here? So we got the door, the desk, the corpse, and the locker. What's, uh, can we open this door? Be careful. There is much energy in the room beyond, yet it stems from nothing that lives. Can you uh. not sense them? Reach out. Cast aside your sight. Mm -hmm. Cast aside what you see, and instead, reach out with your perception. Ah, you can feel them. The droids okay. you cannot perceive, but the small oscillations of energy, that you can feel, echoing outwards. Hmm. Okay, with Cure's help, you have gained the passive precognition power. When those powers triggered, you should save your game. <laughs> Thanks for the hint. 
All right, you know what? First. We're not going to bother with those. I still would like to find some armor, though. All right, so we got the plasma torch, the cutter, and we got some ion grenades, always useful. Uh, security tunnel is for doors and containers. That might come in handy in a little bit. And we got a bunch of droid stuff, which is nice, but not what we need. Hmm. Alright. So maybe I want to check the emergency... Oh. No, there are boxes on the other side of that door. We've saved, right? Oh wait, no. Maybe we didn't. Save game. Save. Do you want to overwrite? Yes, I do. Alright. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Ah, you hear it. <laughs> it is fate, but it is there. Uh What's that? It is the force you feel it has not been so long as for you to forget. Ah. Uh, uh not I don't want this. It's been almost a decade. Ooh, that would be interesting. Especially since this is five years after the last game. In-game, the time is five years. At, it was produced a year after. Uh, let's go with it doesn't feel like it did. Do not turn away from it. Listen. Feel it echoing within you. Come. <laughs> I shall guide you down the familiar paths. You will need it if we are to survive and escape this place. Okay. Gaining experience will slowly reestablish your connection to the Force. Go to the level up screen to choose your Force abilities. Ooh. All right, let's cancel combat. Come on. Let me open it up. Oh, stealth field generator. Parts. Alright. Components, chemicals. You know what I'm not seeing? Armor. Alright, before I open that door, let's go to... Uh, no, that's equipment. That's inventory character there we go so you can auto just like you could auto generate stats and do the quick sheet you can also auto level up and it will balance out all the points that's not what we want so we're going to go manual level up you've been granted the following feats for sensitive and unarmed specialist yeah my fists are a weapon all right and we get to pick our skills. And here's a fun one. As much as I really want to get some cross-class stuff. Uh, so we got five skill points. I know I wanted computer use to stay high. I want to persuade to stay high. And I want security to stay high. Let's, um, as much as I don't want to tank awareness... Let's get Treat Injury up one, and Awareness up one. That way they're not too far behind. Yeah, I get a funny feeling those are going to be perpetually two points behind, unless... Uh, mm, unless I'm willing to let some of these uh, slide past max ranks. No. No, we're, we're, we're going to keep that. 
We're gonna, yep. We're gonna do that. Okay. So there's our skills. Now we get our powers. Ooh, options. <laughs> Some of these, like heal, we're not, we can't, because that requires character level six. Uh, force auras, always nice. Restricted by armor. So when this is activated, the Jedi's temporarily granted a plus two bonus to defense in and all saving throws for 20 seconds. All right. Uh, since we're currently naked and you can't use this in wear armor, there's an asterisk next to that. Some armor will actually let you use force powers restricted by armor. Nice addition to the game. The question is, uh, the shield is going to bump that up to four. And force armor is going to bump that up to six. So that is a tree we're going to want to consider at some point. Uh, burst of speed. That's nice, but that's not worth it. Anything else up there? Night speed. Uh, oh, well, the next level up, you get an extra attack per round. So that's worth considering. And you get two attacks once you get to the master. That's worth considering, but low on the priority list. Uh, Force of Valor increases all the physical stats, which has the bonus of increasing our defense as well. Because remember, part of our defense is our dexterity. So by boosting dexterity up by two, that increases our defense by one. Not as good as getting a flat plus two bonus, but that also increases our strength meaning we're going to hit harder and more reliably, and our constitution, which, uh, if I remember right, the game should give me some temporary hit points for that, too. And those bonuses are going to go up, although it is restricted by armor. I'll have to remember that as we go. In Knights of the Old Republic 1, I stuck to mostly powers you could use with armor, and I was slightly unsatisfied with that. So we'll, we'll, try, we'll try the the intended route with the rogues and the uh, armor that doesn't restrict Jedi stuff. Especially since uh, so that bonus goes from oh, by the by that uh, that also boosts the physical stats of all party members too. And I don't think uh, the force aura does that. No. J the force aura just helps you. Flat 2, flat 4, Flat six. This has the effect of getting you a net one, maybe a net two, depending on where you're at. But it also helps all party members. So that is a strong contender. I can't use resistance. Energy resistance, all right, that's that's nice, but Yeah, all right Energy resistance this power shields the Jedi in force absorbing the first six points of damage from energy sonic fire cold and electrical attacks Okay, and we can get that up to improved energy resistance always nice force barrier Absorbing the first four points of damage, although we can't take that one just yet, so. Uh, battle Meditation. Oh, that was the special power from Bastila that we needed. Uh, that, that drove a lot of the plot of the first game. So you too can get Battle Meditation. Uh, plus two to attack, damage, and will to all ally, to all party members. But that's not until six. That's worth keeping on 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 tap. Uh, force body. Oh. Okay. Basically, you burn vitality points to get more force power points. Mm -mm. That that's not usually a good trade off. All right, revitalize. That's not until level nine. But it lets you bring back a uh, non-droid fallen ally. That does it upgrade to uh, no non-droid, non-droid. Okay, never mind. 
affect mine. That will give you more conversation options. See, that basically increases your force persuade. We do want that. I just don't know that we want that right now. What I'm really looking for is some force push or something like that. Uh, force deflection. So you can deflect any ranged attacks without a lightsaber. Uh, you just can't reflect blaster bolts back at enemies. And the power is always in effect. Ooh, nice. Those are always nice. Uh, stun is nice. I I do like going down the stun line of things. And I imagine there's, yeah, there's a separate line for droids. So we'll probably be taking those two because I used that a lot last go around. Wound is a dark side power. Don't want that. Slow is a dark side power. Um, you're not going to tell me that. The ones I want are dark side now, are you? Fear, no. Shock, no. Okay, force push. There we go. That is a universal power. Alright. That might be near the top of my list, because I use that a lot. Actually, what I really used was the uh, force wave, but, you know, potato, potato. Drain life is dark side, no want. Force oppression is universal. Mm. Uh, the ability will cancel normal and improved versions of a whole bunch of somebody else's powers. That sounds awesome, but that depends on how many people we run into. Alright, throw lightsaber. I use that here and there, but not as much as I thought I would, so... I might save that one for later. Like, if I don't have another power that I absolutely need to get right now, I'll pick up through a lightsaber. Uh, just because it is good, nice to, good to have a ranged option from time to time. But that's not a high priority. Train Force is dark side. Scream is dark side. Mind Trick. Mind Trick distracts a non-droid target, making it easier to sneak by them. If the target fails a will save, then they are distracted for 30 seconds. Distracted targets won't notice the player unless the player gets too close or interacts with them. Ooh. Okay. Force Confuse will work on everything but droids. Oh, beasts. Beasts and droids. Okay. Force Confusion is a more powerful version. Alright, so that might be on the list. That That's not high up on the list. So the question is, do I want Force Push or one of the armors? Uh, force Push has the benefit of stunning some critters. And, and give me just a little bit more space to work with. Although the uh, armor helps now. Or, sorry, the Force Valor helps now in a lot more way. Alright, let's do the Force Valor for right now. Okay. Accept. Yay! We got skills. Um, by the way, maybe we want to go back to that hatch now? Let's go back to that hatch now. Alright. All the foot lockers and everything is empty. Because I don't think we've gotten to... Hmm. Oh, and that wasted our tunneler? Oh. Oh, that stinks. All right. Check security records. You know what we're going to do? We're going to check the security records in the next episode. So if you're watching live, hang tight. I'm going to record one more, even though we're running a little bit behind based on uh, the long first episode. So uh, let, let me uh, throw you over to the outro. And uh, we'll start this again in a little bit. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. 
I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.